Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Golden Sun. In our last episode, we made it through the uh, Fu Chin Temple and acquired the new Synergy Force, which I can't use because we're on the main uh, map, but here it is. The shortcut was making me zoom out instead, see? But um, so we are currently here on the map. We're in the far, far southeast corner and we just got through that big dark patch of woods you can see right there. Um, and now we're gonna start heading to the next area because we just defeated the giant monkey thing, which is the boss. And here we are immediately at the next city, Xi'an. So we're gonna start talking to everyone and mind reading them. I love NPC greeters. I wonder if they pay the people who stand at the front of the city. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Everyone just uh, stands around in NPC villager villages and never does anything. Master Fei. The thief's fell. That's kind of cool. So the fantasy Asia trope is a really, really overdone thing in the RPG genre in general. And Golden Sun is no exception to that. Um, I believe every game in the series Every game that matters in the series, meaning one and two, um, has such things in it. Two is a lot more blatant about the Japanese thing. This is much more a Chinese parody that we're running into right now. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling right now. Hmm, where are all the travelers? I don't know. Hot bean curd tastes good with rice. Oh my god, are you serious? <sighs> no, I don't care about what you're saying. I want to look at what's in your oven. Gosh darn it. Okay, second floor. At least all the houses are pretty here, right? Gotta look on the bright side. Oh gosh, everyone's speaking in that really, really... I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to guess that in the original Japanese version of this game, in the Japanese language, they use um, really overblown Chinese accent stereotypes and phrases. Because, oh, I don't even want to go into all of that, but there's, suffice to say, there's a long history of making fun of the Chinese in Japan. Um, and that's almost certainly what's going on right here. There's a Mercury Ginny. Oh, this is this is how I learned when I was little how silk is made. I didn't know that it was made from the cocoons of um, bugs. Stir fry cabbage looks strangely appetizing. <laughs> Warriors have no idea. That's true though. Speaking as a medieval historian, yes, warriors have no idea how hard farm work is. Oh, kinu. Kinu means silk. I wonder if that's a direct rendering from the Japanese or if that's a Chinese word. I do not know either language, unfortunately. That's pretty impressive. Oops. hurts me very much. Oh gosh, so fun fact about me, I am actually a second degree black belt in Taekwondo, the Korean martial art. Oh gosh, I had to show you that. That's such a cool little Easter egg. Um, so I actually have experience breaking boards and stuff and it's a lot easier than they would have you think. You kind of just have to have confidence to have it work. And it's mostly just for show, really. To show that you know how to do it without holding back, you know? As long as the people who are holding it for you, um, it's really not a big deal. As long as you know what you're doing and aim things properly. You don't have to be incredibly strong. See, look, they have this whole thing where these people are trying to convert people in this region. Oh my god, really? Um, so that 
so, hang on, I just saw something. So that's a sun on the ground, and Soul Sanctum was the temple in Vale. I'm going to go out on, on a limb and say there's some kind of sun worship cult. And they're, they're kind of the stand-in for Christianity and that they're very missionary -ing. Oh, that's interesting. And, um, yeah, we did. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. I feel like I stepped into every awful martial arts movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. In warrior battles, you fight with weapons. In kung fu, you fight by dodging. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really annoying. Let's see what she got. I already have one of those. Ooh, battle rapier. That's a good weapon. Uh, let's see. That is indeed significantly better than the broadsword I have. But I want to see what else she got. 157 or 159. For a few less coins, I can get that. I'm gonna. What, excuse me? <laughs> Oof. Do I want to give up the Blessed Ankh for a little bit more damage? No. We're gonna be in a new town soon, so. Yeah, no new artifacts. I'm just gonna sell some crap first. Oh, I forgot to sell that before. That must have been frustrating to anyone who else was also a perfectionist who was watching my other videos. I skipped that right in front of everyone, I'm sorry. Oh, I have over 10,000 coins, neat. Okay. Now I'm going to get Isaac the Battle Mace, because it is significantly better than what he has already. This manner of speech is very frustrating. I'm gonna leave the Blessed Ankh with Mia. Ah, we finally can get an artifact, and it's the China dress, because we're not being any more obvious about this, but since um, since boys can't wear dresses and wear it, apparently, um, only Mia can equip it, and she has the elf thing, which is already way better. The adept's clothes are better because of the PP boost, so none of that. But iron shields are significantly better than bronze shields, so I am definitely going to take advantage of those. Okay. Uh, bronze helms, we already got those. Silver circlets. Circlets are things that only the spellcaster type people can wear. So, let's sell all this stuff off. Oh gosh. It's cool to be getting rid of all this stuff that I bought way back in Bilibin, you know? Uh, that's it. Let's see. Yeah, that's it for equipment upgrades for now. What do we have here? Interesting. Wow, they really put a lot of detail into the environments in the city. I like it. Did I go in here? Yeah, I did. I already talked to you, too. We'll, we'll figure out how to get that Ginny soon. Xi'an Gourmet, the best in the world. So appetizing, it's hard to imagine how good it tastes. Tolby. Oh, yes, there's a lot I have to say about Tolby. Tolby's very beautiful. Beautiful, very wonderful. Okay. Interesting how these people are just living in houses dug into the side of the hill. They're hobbits! Alton, many men, all scary men too. Oh gosh, are they Tibetans? They, are, they must be Tibet. Lots of steel and lots of gems. Oh, that was... Steamed dumplings, great piping hot. Neat. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to get this genie. We just need to wait here for a bit. Yep. Yep. Just waiting. 
Just waiting. Oh! I made your water break? Is that what you mean? Oh, that was a bad joke. Really, really bad joke. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to do rude things in order to get this Ginny, but it is worth it because not getting the Jit Ginny is even less um, worth it, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Okay. That is our third Mer Mer Mercury Ginny, I believe. Mist. Swordsman and this is water class, but we're gonna give you to Mia. Because I'm not- we don't have enough of the things to branch out, really. Master Phase School? Okay. Let's see. I came to watch, yeah. Promise me you'll be quiet. <laughs> this part is just so weird. Just listening does not make one strong. I learned that more. That's- that's really smart of you, Ken. Kick from the hip. Yeah, that is actually true. I can confirm that. Yeah, those are also true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There are so many people in this martial arts school. I can't disturb them, huh? Yeah, I wish to see it. Stand there and use chi. chi. Well, I don't have any chi, but I do have synergy! Fuh, no. <laughs> oh, hang on a second, she has purple hair. Something is wrong with Sue. I sense it. Ah, Feiji, is it your power again? Ever since gems fell from the sky and hit me, I have sensed bad things. She is a Jupiter adept. She's a Jupiter adept. I can't believe I didn't notice that. That's really cool. <laughs> Another character that should have been included as an optional character in the party, but was not featured in the game. They did all that work for her avatar, too, and... <sighs> that's a missed opportunity. Because, like, having the same four party members for the entire game is a little bit dull, I'll be honest. <laughs> yep, she is a duper adept. I did know that, I just, it t entirely slipped my mind. So it's late, so you worry too much, but do not think bad thoughts. Too late, I have anxiety. <laughs> Stubborn old man. <laughs> you should not speak so to your elders. <laughs> Fuck elders, I'll do what I want. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> she would have been such a good party member, what the heck? Oh my god. He's 
kind of a shitty dad. <laughs> Is cheap? No. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. Show me your cheap. <sighs> whatever you want to call it. I'll be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> very similar, but it is not cheap. Have you been to Fuchin Temple? Yes, I have. Ha, I knew it. Master Hama Lama Temple. Lama Temple, yep, yeah, that is Tibet then. <laughs> energy focused from the mind. Yep. This warrior is wise. Power to will something to move requires much wisdom. Fuchin's ki releases the mind's energy like chi releases the body's. Body versus spirit. Got it. The body's energy has limits, but mental energy has few limits. Train your ki. It will grow very strong. Do your best. And that is like literally everything that that guy does in this game. For real, though. All he does is teach you that there's this thing called she. And <laughs> it's different from Synergy, because Synergy is like special and cool and way better. So there's nothing in there. I still don't get the difference. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Far west. It's not in the desert. Let's try it again, because I want to see if you say anything different. exactly the same as what he said before basically <laughs> um so sadly enough that is like literally everything in this town they like put a ton of effort into making this like really fancy have its custom soundtrack and a specific dialect for everyone in the town to speak and it's like hardly even necessary to the plot we are strong warriors. Hmm. You must find someone to take you west, and we're strong warriors. That was probably the point where she was supposed to join our party. Like, 
that's the only way I can have any of this make sense, you know? Like, if anyone agrees with me, I'd love to be validated on this, because that seems clearly like what they were going for right there. Exciting. Oh, hey, we already have people over 200 HP. Isn't that cool? We're really making progress. It's a good feeling. Now, I know she said go west, but there's something up here I want to show you, you know? Okay. You can see the sprite with Isaac with a mace. It's not something you see very often because maces aren't usually that good of weapons for him. There's usually always better swords and sometimes axes for him. So, it's kind of a neat treat. <laughs> Oh, you still have the Elven Rapier. Shoot, I forgot to get you a Battle Rapier. Oh well, not terribly important. We're already overleveled. And there's good stuff in the next uh, um, shop, so... Okay, I'm just gonna go around in this forest here. Why? No reason. There's just a djinn that appears in the wild. What? Yeah, that can happen. I'm not even kidding. This will be the first time we see a beautiful water djinn. I don't know why I assumed it was going to be a wind uh, one, but... Okay. Neptune for the first time. God of the sea. Oh gosh, that's making me think of that. There's that one episode from Ed, Ed, and Eddie where they flood the area and Ed, just Ed, um, everyone's favorite character, he, is, he just loves the water and he takes to it naturally and he starts like flopping in and out of the water like a whale, screaming, I am Neptune, king of the sea. <laughs> and that, I made myself think of that just now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it's embarrassing. Okay, so we got that. And now we're going to head to the next area, which is the mining town of Alton which I have just put pieces together and it is definitely a stand-in for Tibet. Oh gosh, these things have lots of HP. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a nice level of luck. storm. <laughs> I even learned a better spell. That's good. And this is a weird area that's not marked on the map, see? It's just weird. Weird, weird, weird. Boulders block the road. Yeah. She would have been such an interesting party member. <laughs> Someone who's just getting used to her powers. No, you shouldn't return to Sean. Mm, okay, well, we're gonna just mess with the puzzles here. Try to find the things we can find. Yes. So this boosts HP. 
And I know I keep doing this, but Ivan has the lowest HP and reviving people when they're downed is a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna do that thing. I keep buffing him up, but he really does need it. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so here is the town of Alton. It's my first visit. Yeah, you're a coastal town, right? <laughs> oh no. I, I guess I am terribly unlucky. What do you know? <laughs> I will have you know that I have a luck score of six. Which is actually really not that great. A uh, side crystal. How helpful. No one can get into the mine. Oh my gosh. Turning the air itself into water. Hmm. <laughs> Monster space. Oh no. What are you gonna say, priest man? Hmm. Wow, these just these temples are ubiquitous. Very well organized missionary effort. Alton great again? Oh god. Not the best day to make that reference. Not the best day. Oh. Told me is your favorite time. that keeps popping. I think they're gonna have relationship problems if we don't fix this. That's a good reason to do something, isn't it? Alton, the mining village. Alton mines are famous with a beautiful gem. That's th thanks, book. That's not helpful. Like, what kind of gem? Hmm. Interesting. So this, this is yeah. I want weapons. <laughs> chili sauce. <laughs> you can see him flip. Roast beef. Even the peppers look appetizing. <laughs> A hint. There's normally things hidden in cemeteries, so I'm gonna quickly check everything. Oh my god, let me pass. Pushes the old man out of the way. That's my wife's grave, I'm just visiting her grave. And I don't care because I need to check. A loot. I, that was a waste of my time. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to get that old lady quick too. I miss her. Oh, look, there, there's one right there. Smells foul, huh? What are they even hoping to do? <laughs> hmm. Well, it made the standard monster noise, but... Okay, well, we're gonna 
we're going to chase it um, through this mine. But we're going to do that next time on Sarasi Plays Golden Sun.